Well, everyone, happy Wednesday. I wanted to share with you cooking in the sun oven. Well, hello. It's another rainy, dreary day, and I can't be in the sun oven. So, it's going to be another crock pot Wednesday. Wonder what we're going to find that, to make in the crock pot today. Hmm. Shall we make some chicken? Quack, 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 quack. <laughs> well, let's see what we can come up with in the kitchen. Hmm. Don't have groceries day for another week or so. So what am I going to make? I got some chicken. I got some stuffing. Hmm. Shall we make chicken and stuffing? Yum, yum. So join me in the kitchen for another crock pot Wednesday. <laughs> into my kitchen on this cool damp rainy Wednesday and I'm gonna share with you a recipe that I made oh maybe over maybe two years ago now and it's a one of our family favorites and is stove top stuffing with some chicken and it's really good crock pot meal here I am and I have to finish up bagging this chicken now I got it for 29 cents a pound because they had an anniversary sale now I canned all of the broth but I'm going to freeze some of this I have so much chicken that's canned, and it is nice to have some things in the freezer, even though my freezer is really small. But the reason why I'm doing this today is because our crock pot meal is going to be using some chicken. It's a very simple crock pot meal, but it's very good. As you see, I have a sweatshirt on, and we're almost in the middle of May. 40 degrees and torrential rain for days on end. I've been very concerned about my garden, but so far everything looks okay. But let me tell you what, this season is a challenging one so far. It does make you wonder, are we going to have a good growing season this year? Last year wasn't very good at all. So I'm hoping that it's better this year. But you know, you just never know. So I have a little bit, I have one more bag of chicken to do here. And then we'll get ahead and we'll make our meal. Spray the bottom of the crock pot with some coconut oil. Then I add one can of cream of chicken soup. If you don't like using store-bought soups, you can go ahead and make yourself a white sauce if you like. But I do use the cream soups. I decided to add green beans as my vegetable. Now you can add any vegetable you wish. And now I'm going to go ahead and add the chicken that I already took off the bone. So I want to make sure I get all this chicken out. I know I make a lot of meals using chicken, but chicken for me is the cheapest way of having some protein. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to just stir it lightly. I am going to add a little cheese. You don't have to add cheese, but a little bit of cheese does make it better. This does seem a bit rich. This will actually last us more than one day. And in the alternate days, we eat very light. Now you can add more cheese if you wish. There you see that I add the green beans. That was something that I canned. I'm going to be showing you incorporating more of my canned food in all of my meals. So now I've got one box of stuffing. You can use bread cubes if you want. I'm going to sprinkle that in. The whole box. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to just stir it lightly. That's it, my friends. That's all there is to it. This is a wonderful potluck meal. You can do whatever you want with it. You can add ground beef, you can add carrots, you can add any kind of vegetable that you wish. Today we're going to have the green beans because on Mondays I had peas. We're going to put this in on low for about four hours because everything is cooked. Um, and it's going to be about four hours on low. The crock pot meal is finished. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you put together a crock pot dish like this. It's actually something very easy to make. It's very versatile and it's very frugal. Take care everyone. See you guys tomorrow. From Fanny's Diary, we're on May the 15th, 1943.
Today I was sewing Marion's powder puff dress. It was 16 inches from the floor.